Welcome, welcome, welcome um, to our morning devotion. Um, take dominion today uh, from our ministry. Uh, this is your host, Idikai Mary. I want to encourage you that if you have um, spiritual needs and uh, if you also um, want to have breakthrough in your political life, in your business and investment, uh, give me a call 316-243-2967, 702-992-0792 or 316-665. 4400. Email me personally at idikaimeri2000.2000 at gmail.com. And um, our ministry uh, email address is also out there, idikaimeri at idikaimeriministry.com. You can visit us at um, www.idikaimeriministry.com. And if you want to write to me, and I also encourage you to contribute to our ministry. You can do that by writing to Idikai Mary, PO Box 2491, Wichita, Kansas. That's Kansas State, 67201 USA. All right. Let's go to this morning meditation and prayer. Bless my soul. Bless my soul. Bless my soul, O Lord God. And bless the soul and spirit of me and your people with your most eternal word. Amen. Philippians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul and Timothy, that's Timothy, the servants of Christ Jesus. Let's stop there. Servants of Christ Jesus. That's what I'm dealing with right now. If you look at Take Dominion today, episode one, you will see that I dealt with their names. Here, um, let's look at servants of Christ Jesus. Okay, let's look at it in the Greek. Paul and Timothy. In the Greek, he says, slaves of Jesus, the anointed one. Well, let's look at servants. Why do they call themselves servants? Well, this is how this thing goes. Experience with Jesus will lead you to our bonding with him. Each of these men had a physical and a supernatural, tangible experience with Jesus. And when this kind of event happened in your life, it normally gives rise to a more intimate, a more intimate yearning to be with him and to be of use to him. You see, um, excuse me. The music goes up and down. Um, I like I like Beethoven. You see, um, it creates a personal encounter, a tangible relationship with Jesus pushes you, forces you to more and more relationship with him more and more intimacy see when the word here slave is used for Paul 
and Timothy when they call themselves slaves. It's not used in a way of um, of um, being used and dumb or being used for self-profit. Being forced into what they never wanted to do. No, 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 no. It is used here in the sense of intimacy. It is used here in the sense of aggressive passion for Jesus. Because there is a tangible experience with him. Have you had a tangible experience with Jesus? Because that will become your driving force. The ultimate driving force in your life. And this will make you to have a wonderful experience with him that will create a bonding. This bonding is what we call slave here. That is, you do what he says. You watch him. See what Jesus said. I do what my father does. I say what he says. See, that's the meaning of slave here. It's used in total yielding to the pleasure of your boss. Total yielding to the overall outcome of event in the kingdom of God. They've yielded. They've surrendered. They cannot go back. Whatever he wants, that's what they do. Does it mean that Jesus does not take into consideration the needs, the wishes, and desires of his slaves? Paul and Timothy, he does. Because he too will bless you with everything. You see, being a slave in the house, which means prince and princess, that is how it is here. A slave is co-owners of the house. They are not like outsiders. It is used here as whatever pleasures and pleases Jesus we will do. Absolute obedience. No question asked. I mean, they can ask questions, but they know that ultimately what he says is the best. I want you to begin to think of your life. Let me say this to you. If you are ever going to prosper in your life or in ministry or in anything that you want to do, you have to reach this place where what pleasures Jesus is ultimate. You can abandon everything to be with him. You can suspend everything to stay with him. Where he asks you to go, you go. What he asks you to do, you do. That's the meaning of slaves here. The ultimate pleasure that profits your master. And that is where I am with him too. And I want you to think about that for your life. Because for you to be to prosper, to be in health, you must reach that place where you become a slave of Jesus. You might be having a conversation with Jesus in the street of heaven. If the Father needs him immediately, he will, he, will, he will tell you to wait. Let him attend to the Father first. So the need and desire of the Master is ultimate. It's ultimate. And the master is only going to reward and bring more and more to himself those who need him, loves him, and want to carry out his injunction, his laws, his decrees, what pleasures him, the overall profit of the kingdom. I want you to repeat this word after me. Jesus, whatever will profit you, and pleasure you. That is what I will do for you. I will not argue with you. I will seek clarification in things that I seek clarification. But ultimately, what do you want is what I'm going to do. What do you say is what I'm going to say. I am here for you. Amen and amen and amen. If you pray that prayer with me, 
I want to encourage you to also yield your life to your master, to your boss. Tomorrow we will explore who Jesus is as the anointed one. But he desires you. He desires you ultimately to be in this kind of bonding with him. I'll see you tomorrow morning for another encounter. Now before I go, let's do this. Today, Lord, I take authority and dominion over the atmosphere. I take authority and dominion over everything. I bring people under my on, under me. Every wicked forces I bring under my feet in Christ Jesus. Lord, those you've sent to me, let them come to me. That shall be your prayer today. Let me be in their place of favor, in the place of winning, in my location of your presence. I take over, Lord, the atmosphere that you've granted me to be the governor. And I receive from it the abundance of everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And amen. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.